to my channel for today's makeup look I did go ahead and create a look that I have been seeing a lot on YouTube and on Instagram it is the Instagram baddie makeup tutorial and all it is is just a wing liner with some neutral smoky shadows and then a very minimal on the lower lash line um, and you just pair it with a nude lip it's full of highlight but very glam but still very wearable during the day so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look then just please keep on watching Okay, so to moisturize my face, I'm going to be taking this Pearl Essence Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist, and I just love using this stuff to give me some moisture into my face. I'm going to go in with the Nivea Men's Maximum Hydration Moisture Post Balm Shave, and I'm just going to go ahead and start applying a little bit of this onto the face. This is going to be my primer today. Now jumping into foundation, I'm going to be using my favorite, which is the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation this is the matte and poreless I'm in the shade sun beige which is 310 and I like applying this with a beauty blender I find that it is super helpful with oily skin especially because it mattifies and refines my pores it matches perfectly with my skin tone and it also gives me that natural seamless finish that I love for concealer today, I'm going to be picking up my Rimmel London Match Perfection. This is in the shade 125 Fair. And I really love using this product because it is a two-in-one concealer and highlighter. So you won't need to conceal first and then highlight those under areas. It does it for you. It also has vitamin C and E, which both of those are really great for the skin, especially vitamin E. It is an antioxidant and it also helps with protecting against sun damage so we definitely want that we want to keep our face um, protected and youthful at all times and as usual I'm picking up my real techniques beauty sponge and I'm just gonna start blending all of this out To set the areas that we concealed, I'm going to be taking this product by Revolution. It is their Luxury Baking Powder, and it is in the shade Ghost, which to me I think <laughs> that's just the translucent shade. And I'm applying that with the dome side of my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Brush. I love this little brush to get under um, my eyes and on my forehead and on my chin. To do my brows, I'm actually using a pomade by Milani. This is the Stay Put Brow Color. I'm in the shade Dark Brown, which is 05. I'm gonna start combing my little baby brow hairs upwards, and then I'm gonna start using the angled side of the brush that came with this, and I'm gonna start filling in my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up. If you guys do want a makeup tutorial on how I do my brows, I do them with either pomade or I use a brow pencil. So it just depends on the makeup look that I'm going for. So yeah, leave me a comment if you guys want to see a tutorial on that. Once I'm done filling in my brows and getting the desired shape, I go in with a flat tip brush along with some cream concealer. You can use one shape that's lighter than your skin tone so that it is not too bright. And then you just go tightly underneath your brows so that you can start cleaning those brows up. Now that our eyebrows are on fleek, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking my favorite palette, which is the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm picking up the color Orb, which is this one right here, and I'm going to pick it up with a Morphe M533 brush and start placing this color on the crease and bringing it down a little bit onto the lid to act as a base for the rest of the shadows. Um, we are going to be putting different shadows on top, so we do want to use this color as a transition shade and our blending shade. For this look, I did want to go ahead and stick to neutrals and warm shades, so I'm just going to be applying about a few different shades on top of each other. So 
technically you don't have to be super perfect at this or even the blending process you just want to make sure that you're building up the color to the intensity that you want it to The next color I'm going to be picking up is this one. It's called Risky and it is a maroon brick reddish tone with a little bit of a brown undertone. And this one we're just going to lay it on the lid and then mainly on the outer V to start building up the intensity of that color as well as a little bit more definition. I did forget to mention that I did go ahead and switch um, brushes. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe M433 brush. This is a perfect brush to concentrate the color more on the crease and on the eyelid. And that's what I want, especially because we are, like I said, layering on those colors and I want to make sure that we keep our transition color intact. The next color that I'm going to be picking up from the palette is called In The Zone. This is also a maroon reddish tone, but it's a little bit deeper and a little bit more red. And this color, I'm just going to be concentrating it on the center of the lid and then dragging it down to the lash line. After packing on the color on the lid, I did start feathering out that color on the outer V of the eye just to give us that cut eye look that we want. And then going back in with my Morphe M535 brush, I'm gonna start blending out those colors. I did pick up a little bit of the first color, which was Orb, and that was our transition shade that we first laid down. So this color is just gonna continue to help blend every color together and make sure they all melt in nicely. Taking the color Brunette on a, a smaller, denser brush, I'm going to start applying the shade on the outer V and then closer to the lash line um, just to add a little bit more depth onto the eye and concentrating this on the outer V. Initially, I was going for a matte look but I did stumble upon this pigment from L'Oreal, which is in the color Progressive, number 854, and it just happens to match perfectly with the eye look that I was going for. So I just went ahead and popped this on the lids just to give it a little bit of pop of color. Okay, now that we have applied the last shade onto our eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the brush and blend out any harsh edges. I know I got a little bit of transfer from that pigment on the crease, so I just wanna go ahead and clean that up. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and tap into my Kylie Bronze Palette and take the color Jasper, which is this white shade right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that under the brow bone. The Morphe 3502 palette didn't have a color that was matte. Um, or even a shimmer that was a lighter color. So I had to use this palette, but I'm just applying this under the brow bone and in the inner corner before applying any highlight. And to highlight our inner corners, I'm gonna be tapping back into the Morphe 3502 palette with the color Pure, and I'm just gonna be applying a generous amount onto the inner corners of my eyes. For my contour, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This is in the shade Beautiful Bronze, and I'm just going to apply this on the cheeks, on the nose, under my lip, and on my forehead. To blend out my contour, I'm going to be doing my usual, spraying my brush with a little bit of the Coconut Rose Face Mist and applying this on my brush just to make it easier to move the product. And then in circular motions, moving it upwards, I'm going to start blending out the contour. Okay. 
if you are new to contouring, I would not suggest using this product. Um, this product does require a little bit more work. That's why I do have to spray my brush with a little bit of the face mist to help work the products around. But um, as you can see in some areas, I will look a little patchy. So I did go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure no harsh edges were there and everything was nice and blended. If you are trying to figure out how to contour, I would stick to a powder bronzer or a contour stick um, because this product, like I did say, is a little hard to work with if you're new. And since the brush didn't work for my face contour, I didn't use a brush for my nose. I did go ahead and just blend it out with my beauty blender and it worked a lot better than the brush did. So I would suggest blending out your nose contour with your beauty blender. To bronze my face and set my contour, I'm going in with the Milani Soleil Bronzer in number 5. It looks like this. I did hit pan a little bit just because I love it that much. But I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the areas where I contoured just to enhance my features. For my nose contour, I am taking this smaller dome brush. It is an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it to define my nose contour. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of bronzer and start applying it on the areas where we contoured. The blush that I'm going to be picking up today is going to be this one by Tarte. It is in the shade Feisty, and it is a perfect nude peachy tone. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl it around and apply this on the apples of my cheeks just to give myself a little color. I do love using blush. I do not leave the house without using blush. I'd rather use blush than bronzer. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the apples of my cheeks. To finish up the eye look, I'm going in with the color Orb and Risky on the lower lash line. I do want to keep the colors very minimal on the lower lash line just because I don't want it to be too intense and dark down there, especially after we add mascara. So I'm just keeping it with those two colors on the lower lash line. At this point, feel free to add false lashes, but I'm just going to go ahead and load these puppies with some mascara. For highlighter, I'm going to be taking this one by Wet n Wild. It is in Precious Petals, and I'm just going to be applying this generously around the face so that we are glowing to the gods. For my lips today, I'm going to be lip lining using this lip color by Milani. It is in the shade Spice. It is one of my favorites. And I'm just going to outline my lips and then we are going to go ahead and prep them before our color applies on top. To ensure that my liquid lipstick lasts all day and there's no feathering on the lips, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Lip Insurance Gloss and I'm just going to apply a good coat over my lips before applying my liquid lip. The liquid lipstick that I am using today is this one by ColourPop. It is in the color Chi and it is just a perfect nude so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the lips. I've really been into glossy lips so I'm going to be taking this one by e.l.f. It's just a clear gloss and I'm just going to apply a good coat over the top of that liquid lipstick just to make our lips a little bit more juicy. To secure my brows and make sure they don't budge all day, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Brow Precise. I am in the shade Deep Brown and I'm just going to apply a generous amount on both of my brows. Last but not least, we are going to go ahead and set our face using the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray. This is 16 hour wear and perfect for oily skin. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed how this video and this makeup look came out. If you guys are interested in more videos, don't forget to subscribe.